Hey folks, it's November the 20th, 2011. I'm right here by the Sedalia socket tree. A side of the fence. I've decided to remove my valves over here. I'm digging a ditch out through this way and this way. We're headed up that hill. And I'm headed back down that way too. But right here by this old hickory tree. Just in a little bit of roots right here. I've dug, I would say it's um, 16 inches in and about a foot down. This is the pile of material that I have dug through. It is so thick. And where to... Okay, right there it is. I'm saying right here. Thanks a lot, Timo. Here's my first tool of the day I get to start with. But, like I said, I can't leave none of these tools behind either. You just don't find these tools all over the place, you know. Not like you do out here at the cucumber. So cool. That's a good start. It ain't but 8.07. Just got, just got here. It's absolutely amazing the material after you dig off the edge of this thing and get to the, the lack thereof until you get to the middle. And look right here. Like I said, I haven't moved. I haven't got a wheel, wheelbarrow full of dirt. And my pile just keeps making, getting bigger. Look at them beautiful flakes. I had a had a gentleman yesterday, Neil from Connecticut, Connecticut, come by and seen me. Really nice guy. Appreciate him stopping by and come by and got some tools and stuff. He had purchased some of Rudy's tools earlier in the year. Cool as could be. Then the gentleman from down there in Kentucky, Tim, I talked to last night. He liked talking to somebody you knew your whole life. It's amazing how these people from YouTube are all so much alike. Basically like good old country boys, it seems like. Not that you have to be a country boy to be good. I'm just saying what they seem like. All right. Um, man. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm just going to start digging this whole hill up again. See what we missed. Around every one of these roots we didn't dig, we were too spoiled. Finding way too much stuff. So I know we left way too much stuff behind. And you know there's a lot of Tims and Richards out there. I'm going to have to take over Tim the tool man's name. Look here. Here's another tool. Big old one. I've dug about a wheelbarrow now. And my flint pile's getting bigger and bigger. Well, I hate to call it quits so early, but I found that gigantic pile of flint there. About eight pieces I'll clean up, some around that tree. Stick through me through this boring time, and I think um, here in about a day or so, I ought to be doing pretty good, because right here is the last place we dug. And like I said, we were just spoiled when we were started out, finding way too much stuff. I ain't dug that much stuff up there in three weeks down on the other side so and i gotta go up here they plowed it up one more time hopefully it'll rain and maybe i'll get to find something and look at all these chunks come out yesterday all from that one little place i'm gonna pick these up too a five gallon bucket a day i didn't realize how many people wanted that big old material they used to make arrowheads with yakadoodle Go Carl, we don't want Tony being that champ. Yeah, check this out. Big old deep plow. Everywhere but it's gonna rain before they get the get the roof on there. This will probably bring out a whole lot more than what I found the first time, I hope. I like the way these guys plow. They don't mess around. All right, I'm gonna look around a little bit. I hate looking in dry, dry dirt until it rains, but there might be a big old sedalia popped up somewhere. I'll get back with you. Yeah, this is plowed two feet deep. Well, 
like I said, I had to get back to watch the race a couple of days short, but I got a good feeling, you know, as soon as I get away from that tree and do a little digging for a few hours, I'm going to start finding some more stuff up through there. Kind of a different little stem point for around there. And Neil, I left my doggone half of my hard stone I found over there at my building. But on my website, this is the half of one that Gary found. And mine's almost exactly like this, only mine's a, a dark green. We found two of these halves, but Rudy had a bulldoze the very next day we found them. After we found them. Uh, where was it? Here it is. Cucumbers. She's down in Alabama. Hey, I'm digging this right up here now. Alright. Like I said, I'll try to get it more interesting later.